I'm already way too long to put makeup on, but I really need to, so. <laughs> I have forgotten how to make YouTube videos, so please bear with me. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a little while. Clearly my camera is still having trouble focusing, even though it's had a long break, so that's rude. <laughs> I have taken a little hiatus, a little break from YouTube. Had a few things going on in my personal life. As you can see, the surroundings has changed. <laughs> my background is missing, which I'm heartbroken about. But you know, certain things have happened, so I've had to give up my filming room. It is what it is. So this is my first video back. I hope you don't mind this background. It's not exactly the colors that I would go for, but anyway, today I wanted to do a kind of chit chat video where I just talk about life, Christmas, New Year, you know, 2020, what what is happening? I can't believe it's literally gonna be 2020 when I upload this. That's scary stuff. Okay, shouldn't we have like cyborgs and stuff now? I don't know. <laughs> this year for New Year's, I'm not going out. I don't really party that much anymore, <laughs> but I am having a pajama party, which is like, I think that's goals, to be honest. <laughs> Drink, games, pajamas, like, that's my perfect kind of evening, so I'm excited for that, but I still wanted to wear makeup. So, today I'm going to be doing my New Year's makeup. It's actually a look that I've done a few times before. I wore it for like Christmas and things, but I just want to chill, do a look that I really like, and run you through it, and also just talk about everything. <laughs> I'm already in my pyjamas. Not the ones I'm going to be wearing, but just pyjamas. <laughs> if you want to try and get me out of pyjamas in the holidays, good luck, that's all I have to tell you. <laughs> I've got like an hour and a half to get ready, so <laughs> I think I better get started. So I'm just going to zoom you guys in because I'm going to be doing my ass first. So come a little closer, why don't you? Oh, wrong way. <laughs> it's quite awkward because you would have seen all the mess, which my life has been over the past few weeks. Uh, yeah, so I'm <laughs> going to go in with the P. Louise base first. I actually bought a few new colours of this. Um, I'm going to be going in with Rumour 1, which is a better match to my skin tone when I've got my foundation and everything on it. Just dotting it on first. Let's put it on out. So yeah, basically I took over a month off <laughs> and in all honesty, I felt like I kind of needed it. I had a lot going on in my personal life and also just in my general job. I'm not used to <laughs> having responsibility in my workplace and that kind of happened recently and I'm so grateful for it. Just made me start thinking about my future, you know? <laughs> Which I've never really done. <laughs> I know some of you guys have been wondering where I've been and I'm so sorry that I haven't uploaded. I've actually had some stuff ready to go. Like I've done a review on the Tati Beauty Palette which I will be using a little bit today. I just haven't had the time to <laughs> To edit them. I've got that one pretty much edited but I just didn't have the like swatches of the colours and it's just like little add-ons that I wanted to put in and I didn't want to upload without all those extras in there just because I would just feel weird if I just put that up without those you know. Hoping to get this one edited and up maybe on New Year's Day. <laughs> It's New Year's Eve today, and I'm already late, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. This is gonna be a chatty video anyway. Saddle up, okay? It's probably gonna be a long one. <laughs> I just decided to take the break that I needed just to deal with everything. I mean, I can't like stretch myself too thin, you know? And I think that's something that I wanna focus on more is not trying to push myself and force myself to do things when I know there just isn't enough time in the day to do it. Also, I want to concentrate on YouTube a little bit more as well because there's quite a few of you here now, actually. Um, so thank you everyone who joined in my absence as well. It was crazy. I was like checking up on YouTube and replying to some of you guys through the comments and things. I was seeing like the numbers still growing and I was like, why? <laughs> but thank you all the same. It's nice to have new people here. I do have like, what, over a hundred videos on this channel? Like, which is insane. So there is content. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so ready to get back into making new content. Or if you can hear stuff from downstairs, by the way, I currently can't close my door because everything is everywhere in my house, okay? <laughs> As I said, there's been a lot going on. So you may be able to hear the TV downstairs. I'm gonna try and talk around it, but you may still hear some noises, so sorry. Okay, I better stop my eyes because otherwise I'm never gonna leave on time. <laughs> I'm going in with the Huda Nude palette. This look is kind of like a purpley, rosy tone um, and I really enjoyed it when I did it the first time. I'm going in with the shade Tickle by here. I completely lost my train of thought is what I was saying before. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, that a few of you guys have already joined when I was absent and 
it's just crazy and I want to say thank you for everyone who has joined I'd say we're you know almost at 900 people like, I can't picture 900 people that that just honestly blows my mind like I think we're going to possibly hit a thousand people in the new year <laughs> if you know I can get myself together and start uploading more <laughs> this Christmas I have been spoilt um, I was thinking about doing a like what I got for Christmas video but I wanted to gauge your guys' interest on it because I know some people find it interesting, some people can find it kind of braggy and I don't want to you know ruffle anybody's feathers so it's up to you guys if you wanted to see that. I might try a poll. <laughs> I think the way it works is it comes up on the left hand side where the little eye is. I'm gonna try it, see if I can work out how to do it and see if I can get a gauge on you guys and if you want to know what I got. I got a few makeup pieces that I'm excited to use but yeah let me know, try and use the poll. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, I'm dying slowly. <laughs> I've had this cough for probably about a month. I'd stopped filming because I was really ill, like bed bound ill with the flu. So I just had to stop. I had to stop my normal job and also YouTube and also just life in general. I was just in bed. So I had like two weeks off with that and then the thing with my family happened. Just had to kind of like up and leave my filming room for somebody else. I considered filming in this room before but it just didn't work logistically and I just didn't have enough time. I had a lot of things going on so I just decided you know what I need to know when to call it quits. So I did for a little bit. I'm not quitting YouTube but I just called it quits for the for that month. I've still been trying things, I've still been wearing makeup. Like I said, I've tried the Tati Beauty palette, which if you guys still wanna see a review, please let me know. I would like to upload it. I'm probably gonna upload it anyway. But yeah, I still wanna know what you guys want, you know? It's not all about me. I'm just going in with Spanked from the palette. So yeah, I had a little bit of a break, but I'm back. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what 2020 is gonna bring for me, but I hope it's better than last year. It wasn't particularly a bad year. It just wasn't a particularly grand year, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Nothing spectacular. Next year, however, my friend is getting married, which is really exciting. We're going to Greece for her wedding. So there are exciting things happening in 2020 already. So I've already got something more to look forward to. Also, we have things going in my workplace, which is another thing I've been doing. I've been doing more creative things in my workplace even though if you knew my job you'd be like what do you mean we like to make our workplace fun and have a bit you know of an atmosphere so we like to do creative things sometimes and I'm kind of a creative person and so I guess they just decided I should take lead on these things <laughs> which honestly it makes my work so different and I don't know just fun knowing that we're gonna be doing creative things when they're not really needed at all where we work it's just it's just fun <laughs> Ugh, will my eyes ever be even that is the question <laughs> honestly i think in this video i've like started a trail of thought and then i just go off oh, i don't know what this is gonna look like to edit but i hope i can get it done soon okay i go in with the color love bite from the palette as well which is the deepest color here like dark bubble i don't know why i'm excited for next year again i've got a few exciting things but just generally, I'm kind of excited for it. I think it's just because it's 2020. It's an even number, that's probably why I like it. If you didn't know, I like even numbers. <laughs> even though I feel like good things never happen to me on even numbers, which is just like rude. That's all I have to say about that. This is, this conversation, I don't know where it's, I don't know where we're going. This, this is me right now, this is where my head is at, this is how scrambled I am, okay? Shave Chanel. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear this music, but it just makes you want to dance, you know? That's actually something that I was thinking about maybe trying to do this year, but there's nothing around me is getting back into my dancing roots. I used to do a lot of dancing when I was younger. I stopped when I was 16 to concentrate on my GCSEs, you know, which really helped me throughout life. <laughs> I've done ballet, tap, jazz, modern, hip hop. Hip hop was the final kind of stage of dance for me, which was my favorite, like R&B, hip hop music is like my jam. My kind of childhood was like Usher, Chris Brown. I know he's controversial, but I still like his music. Destiny's Child, Neo. I, I liked all that kind of music, you know, like Timberland kind of stuff. I'd really love to get back into dance in 2020, but literally I can't find any street slash hip hop dance around me that supports adults. What's wrong with adults dancing, y'all? <laughs> what is wrong with it? I don't get it. I don't feel like an adult, but apparently over 21, you're an adult. Over 21, you can't sit with us, you know? <laughs> okay, 
I'm going to quickly cut my crease and shut up for a second, give myself a little bit of a breather because I've been talking for so long. I actually picked up these two bases from P. Louise as well. They were having like a Black Friday sale or something where they were all £5, so I kind of filled my boots a little. So I got the white version of the P. Louise base and then I also got one of these, I can't remember exactly what they're called, they're something paints, but this is from the Acid Rain collection, which is a collaboration with Mama Mitchell and P. Louise. And I picked up the purpley color which is so gorgeous. I mix the two together to make a pastel lilac color and it just works so well. Let's just take the tiniest amount of this. You do not need a lot. I don't know if I'm a fan of the like packaging. I just find it weird that it's just open like that. I don't know. Then I just mix it in with the white on the back of my hand and that is all she wrote. See I'm just gonna cut my crease real quick and then I'll be right back. I'm just gonna take my translucent powder because I just want this color. I don't want to add another color on top so I'm just using a translucent powder. I'm just gonna set it so it doesn't move. Honestly, I really, really love this colour. I really love this combo. It's just so pretty. Like glam, but like soft glam, if you know what I mean. For Christmas, I did more of like a cranberry tone instead of like purpley tone, and it was just really pretty. Just going back in with Tickle, and I'm just going to lightly dust over the edges to make more of a blend. Touching up the Love Bite colour just a little bit, just to really deepen this up. Okay, so here comes the fun part. Now I'm going to go into the Tati Beauty palette. I'm going to be taking this glitter, which is from the Aurora row. I really like these glitters. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I literally don't use any glue with them. They're so cool. I've been using these glitters on this brush, which is the Morphe M149 brush. I just find that having a dense kind of like pencil brush really helps with these glitters because I just put my brush in and kind of twist it and it just picks up the glitter really well and then it's easy to place on instead of going in with your fingers because then it just goes everywhere. And I just want a little dusting of glitter. I don't want to be going crazy. Can if you want to. But for this look, I don't go crazy. <laughs> so the way that I'm going to place the glitter is on this kind of area here on a diagonal. I've just been really liking doing that, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> just subtle little hint of glitter, nothing too crazy because I do really love this as a matte look. If you wanted it to be matte, just leave it as it is. I just really want that little bit of sparkle and this is what I've been doing. Got like a concentrated line, but then I just kind of merge it from side to side. It just makes a subtle gradient of glitter, which is my favorite at the moment. All right, so I think it's time to finally move on to the face. I've spent like an hour on my eyes. <laughs> I'm loving kind of like glowy skin lately. Well, I say that like I haven't been for ever. Um, <laughs> I've been using this e.l.f. glow lotion like all over, kind of like a little bit of a moisturizer just to give myself a little bit of like a lit within kind of glow. And also I've been doing my base makeup a little bit differently. Um, I've just been experimenting with different things and I've been quite liking it, so. We're gonna be doing that today. I've been using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I've just been kind of putting this in my pore areas to kind of fill them in a little bit. So I've been kind of doing like my contouring and concealing first. Just been enjoying the way that it looks and also it's just super easy and quick to blend out at the end of it. I've been using this by Fenty which is the matchstick in the shade Amber and it's just a really cool tone shade for me and it's really been working so I put a lot of this on. <laughs> I kind of go to down with it. It just blends out really easily, so I'm just like, why not? So I kind of do this, this, this. I should probably zoom you out a little bit. Again, I've forgotten how to YouTube. That's a little bit better. You can see the magic that's going on right now. <laughs> Again, I kind of go to town with this stuff. I put on quite a bit of weight over the Christmas period. <laughs> so we gotta try and get rid of that. Do a little bit of nose contour. And then I've just been using a brush to blend it out because that's the quickest for me. Literally just do this. This just basically takes off a lot of the excess and just blends it into the skin. And yeah, I found this is like the easiest way to contour for me quickly because that's been like a thing that I've been kind of doing lately is quick makeup. Not everyone has the patience to sit and wait for me to do my makeup. <laughs> Which if I'm honest with myself, if I, you know, actually took the amount of time I wanted to do my makeup with, I would be there for about five hours. and. <laughs> I wish that was an exaggeration. <laughs> it's really not. Like, it's really not. <laughs> just keep blending, just keep blending, just keep blending, blending, blending. What do we do? We blend, blend, blend. <laughs> okay, so now I've like blended this out. I'm going to go into my concealer. I've been using the Jouer Complete Coverage Concealer, which I actually had to take the top out of, the stopper, because I knew there was product in here, like loads left, um, but I couldn't get any out, although I am, I am running out of product from this, and it's one of my favourite concealers. I wish I'd picked it up in the, like, Beauty Base sale, 
but I didn't. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be using this. This is in the shade Lace. It's not the lightest for my skin, but I feel like because of the way I'm doing my makeup at the moment, it, it it's okay. <laughs> it works alright for my skin at the moment. Um, my battery is currently dying, so I'm just gonna go switch it out, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back in business, and I almost forgot to click record, so uh... <laughs> That's great, but I'm just placing down some concealer, kind of doing the whole like highlight thing, you know, and then I'm just gonna go in with my sponge and just blend this out. I was thinking about filming my like yearly favorites soon. Don't know if they've really changed from last year, but we'll have to see. <laughs> I haven't like really sat down and assessed the products that I've been like constantly using, but I think I should do that to see what my favorites have been. Whoa, I look literally insane on camera right now. I swear I don't look this crazy in person. It's definitely the lighting because I've almost lost natural lighting because it's like overcast at the moment. So this looks extreme on camera. <laughs> it will all blend together, I swear. I'm gonna pop some of the excess underneath my contour. I'm gonna try and blend this so it doesn't look so harsh on camera. What's going on? <laughs> that looks a bit better. A little bit. I guess this technique is kind of like the Scott Barnes technique that he did on Tati. I've just been experimenting, see what I feel like looks okay because I don't know, there isn't a right way to do makeup. I enjoy playing with different techniques and you know, sculpting my face in different ways. Now I am going to be doing foundation even though to be honest I don't feel like I need foundation right now. I just do it as like a final touch and I don't add too much. Usually for this I've been using my Make Revolution Concealer Define but I'm pretty much out of this like I'm thinking about doing maybe like an empties video soon I'm gonna try mixing a little bit of this in a little bit of the Zoeva foundation because this one's like a little bit glowy and a little bit lighter so I think together they'd make quite a cool combo I'm gonna be using this kind of like stippling brush and I'm just gonna mix the two together and what I'm gonna do is start from my neck and I'm just going to start lightly buffing the foundation over top of everything that I just did and it just creates a really nice finish it just like melts everything together you don't have any harsh lines I've barely got anything on my brush as well this is literally just like a veil of foundation that you're adding over top just to blend everything together that combination looks really pretty actually can you see that glow that's from the Zoeva foundation this brush is just from Revolution Pro by the way ain't anything fancy okay so that's pretty much all my foundation done and dusted need to powder my under eyes I've been using this by Laura Mercier it's the secret brightening powder I've re discovered this okay I've been using this so much if you guys have been watching some of my videos you know that I've said I've got like dry under eyes this powder has helped me so much with the look and appearance of my under eyes when I wear makeup it's just not heavy at all and it really just brightens the area and it's so silky smooth and it just, it just it's just helped my makeup game with my under eyes so much just going in with the powder and I put quite a bit on I do kind of like bake a little bit with it by the way I still get like creasing and stuff this hasn't um, eliminated creasing under my eyes but it's just helped especially with the feel of my under eyes they don't feel as dry anymore when I'm wearing makeup and everything it's just a very light powder um, and I really really like it okay so while I'm baking I'm just gonna quickly go over it with my sponge just to kind of like eliminate any potential streak marks that may be on my face. I can't really see any, but just for the security, I just like to do this really quickly. Down my neck and everything. I'm gonna use a bit of my Fenty bronzer in In The Sun. Cause yes, even though I've added that, you know, cream product, I still wanna add powder products over top because I can't be stopped. <laughs> This is quite a light bronzer anyway, so it's not gonna add crazy color. Now I'm just gonna contour a little bit. I'm gonna use this MUA Glow Bronzer thing in Golden Dunes. And I'm gonna use this segment by here, which is kind of like cool tone. I'm just gonna take it on a Real Techniques um, little setting brush. And I'm just gonna kind of chisel my cheeks just a little bit. Whoa, oh my God, I'm throwing everything everywhere. I need to chill. Okay, I'm just kind of basing it back here and bringing it forward slightly. I don't wanna go crazy. I am literally, Putting my makeup on to get in my pajamas. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, that will do me. That is enough chisel for me today. Just gonna add a little bit on my forehead and just a little bit down the nose. I'm not adding any product, just literally the excess. And just blend any edges with my bronze brush. Just gonna dust away this bake. Um, we'll finish up the under eye and then I'll do highlight and blusher and everything. Okay, under eyes, I'm just going back into the Huda Beauty palette and going into Tickle again. Just gonna run that 
on the lower lash line. I just, I'm really messy with my <laughs> lower lash line. Never really paid that much attention to it. As long as I don't look crazy, that's that's all that I really care about. I'm taking just a little bit of the Love Bite color and I'm just going to add this to the very closest part of my lashes. Just for a little bit of definition, you know? And then just blend it out a little with my brush. For brows, I've literally been doing pretty much nothing. <laughs> I've just been using this e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Natural Brown. It's okay. I don't know, it's nothing special. <laughs> it just adds a little bit of structure to the brow. Honestly, my brows are the least structured they could ever be. And I know I say that in every single video, but guess what I'm gonna say next. <laughs> I really, really need to get my brows done. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of brush them up and just kind of leave them. I just can't be bothered with structured brows right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna go put some mascara on, um, lashes, and then we'll finish up the rest of the face. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back. All right, I decided against falsies, and I just finished up my face because I realized the time, and I was supposed to leave four minutes ago. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna do my lips, which I forgot to do actually, be right back. <laughs> I just threw on the NYX Matte Lip Liner in the shade Los Angeles, the Can't Relate Liquid Lip from Jeffree Star, and then the e.l.f. Jelly Pop juicy gloss in the shade watermelon pop. Let me just run through what I did on my face. For highlight I used the Rach Loves Pixie palette and I mixed clutch and zipper so I get that kind of like purpley tone. And then for blush I used this BH Cosmetics nude blush 10 color blush palette and I just mixed the two peachy shades. The lightest one with a little bit of this one for a bit more depth and that's what I did for my blush and highlight. I might actually add a little bit of glimmer with the Fenty Diamond Bomb in How Many Carrots just just because, why not? It's New Year, so let's just add a little bit of shimmer on top, you know? It's very subtle. You can barely see it. <laughs> oh, can you actually? No, that is quite intense. I lied. <laughs> I also set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I'm gonna do a quick little spritz more, you know? Because I can never have enough setting spray. <laughs> so this is it for my kind of glittery, soft glam, festive New Year's kind of look. I, I mean, it's not crazy festive, but it's just got a bit of glitter and it's pretty. It's just a cut crease. It's nothing special. Um, <laughs> but I like the way it's turned out. I'm gonna go sort my hair out and get changed into new pajamas. Um, <laughs> and then I'm gonna go enjoy my new year with some of my friends. So I hope you enjoy yours too. And I hope you tune back in to my new videos. Hopefully they'll be a bit more organized. Again, I'm trying to work out a setup. Hopefully this cough slash cold, whatever is going on, will disappear as well. Here's to a better year in 2020. Uh, cheers. <laughs> Don't forget to let me know what videos you want in the new year and also answer the poll if I work out how to do it. I hope you had a lovely Christmas and I hope your new year is fabulous. And let's see what 2020 brings us. I hope it's everything you wanted. Yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I shall see you in the next one. Till then, bye guys. Uh, is everything on? I don't even remember how to make a video. Definitely need my ring light. This is not working. Okay, no, it's too bright on this side. What? What am I missing here? <laughs> okay, I'm already way too warm to put makeup on, but I really need to, so... <laughs> this is gonna... I mean, it... But yeah, so I've still been wearing makeup, but yeah, I've still been wearing makeup. <laughs>